Greetings of Peace. My name is Maria and I'm a volunteer for the Brahma Kumaris in Colombia. We know that we have to take care of the earth resources, but how about our inner resources, like time, our thoughts, and feelings? Together, we can create peace and harmony in the planet by reconnecting with our inner peace. So join us in a global meditation for change dedicated to Earth Day 2024.
You're in the heart of the ancient forest. These trees have been standing peacefully on the earth for hundreds of years. The atmosphere is humming with peace. The tree in front of you is an ideal spot to sit. As you sit and rest your back against the trunk, it's as if the tree gives a little, molding itself to the shape of your back. Be still and absorb the environment of peace. Your attention is drawn to the forest floor by a silvery sparkle. It's a little silver seed. This is a seed of peace. Just as these great trees grew from tiny seeds, great peace will grow from this peace seed. Pick up the seed and hold it in your hand. It's starting to glow. The peace seed is awakening. Hold the seed close to your heart. Sense it radiating a lovely, peaceful feeling. Allow the peaceful feeling into your heart. Through the canopy of leaves overhead, golden sunlight is shining down. It warms the top of your head and shoulders. Soft rays of sunlight nourish the seed of bee. Peace radiates from the seed into your heart. And spreads into the environment around you.
This peace is so nurturing. Right now, you don't need anything. You're content just sitting quietly, holding the seed of peace. Relaxing in the golden sunlight. From the middle of your beautiful silver seed comes a silvery fine thread. It reaches up toward the light and a thought of peace plays across your mind. I am peaceful. Each time you think the thought you feel even more peaceful. I am peaceful. I am peaceful.
So relax your body. And allow yourself to settle into inner stillness. Inner silence. Feel your breathing. And feel the weight of your body. And as you bring your mind to the here and now, become aware of all the energies that make up life. The energy of your body as it breathes. And has so many automated functions inside. Become aware of your mind and your inner mental and emotional energy. The energy of the soul, of the spirit. Become aware of the energy of the air around you and also become aware of the energy of nature whether you're sitting in a park or the nature around the building you're in just be aware of all the energies that make up life. Because to have a healthy existence means to harmonize all energies. And to harmonize all these energies, I need to bring my mind back to a place of peace, to a state of being a giver, a bestower of peaceful energy when I the inner being am at peace then I can create this harmony within me with my body and with nature. Nature that creates our home, this planet Earth. So for a few moments I sit in stillness, center myself. And I have so much gratitude 
for planet Earth and all the flora, the fauna, the elements of water, earth, air, everything that makes up our ecosystem. And through the peace in my mind, I send out vibrations of harmony, of equilibrium into nature so that any disturbance can be brought back to a state of harmony. Anything that creates disease can be brought back to its original state of health and well-being. Picture yourself to be a source of goodness, a source of inner light, a source of very deep energy of peace. And allow your energy of light to spread outwards. Allow this energy of peace to radiate into nature, to the trees, to the flowers, to the mountains, into sand dunes. the ocean, the rivers, and up to the clouds and the sky. Let your energy of goodness and equilibrium spread out into nature. Let me put back this good energy, this pure energy from my heart, from my mind into our ecosystem. Let me spread this energy as an angel of the earth. One who watches over the planet. One who makes sure that all pain and harm is removed from Mother Earth and nature as a whole. Let me bless nature
with a heart full of gratitude. And through these vibrations of peace, of love, let me bring back that equilibrium, that state of harmony in the world. Nature is like a mother. She holds us in her lap. She allows humanity to grow, to flourish. Nature is abundant in her giving. And so in this moment, I choose to return this energy of goodness to her. So just keep sending out these rays of peace, of gratitude. And let your energy touch not just all living beings in nature, the birds, the animals, fish, all living creatures, but also the elements that make up our surroundings. Let my light extend all around the globe. Touching nature with goodness, harmony, and equilibrium.
you came into this world as just a soul, the pure essence of light and peace that you are, naked of any physical form or any identity, just pure light. And you enter this world of sound and sights, a physical dimension that allows you to experience and to express the qualities and gifts of your soul. This beautiful world of matter has been like a temple that has housed your soul through time. But sometimes we forget that and think that it is all there is. And this brilliant vehicle of the body has allowed you to express, to move, to experience, to live in the physical dimension. But it is just a costume and just a vehicle that allows you to travel through the physical world. Somewhere along the line, we got tangled in our costumes and we thought it was who we were completely. Part of spirituality is developing a relationship with the body and with the material world around us with understanding. Take a moment now to become aware of yourself as that pure light of peace that you were before you entered the physical world naked of any physical form, just pure light. And feel yourself as that light sitting in the temple of the body. Sending it these pure, powerful, vibrations of silence, reconnecting with your eternal identity, and take these few moments to send peace and gratitude to every cell of your body. carried you through time, it's allowed you to experience the richness of relationships and beautiful scenes and sounds, but it is just a vehicle that you have for a short time. And though we often think of taking care of the body through pure food, we don't always think of taking care of the temple of the body by feeding it pure thoughts, by showering it with that light energy of who we are. So just imagine feeling that light energy pour onto your body, bathing it, cleansing it, strengthening it, creating health in the body, creating well-being and radiance in every cell. And creating a new vision of ourselves as a spirit in the body, instead of thinking we are just the body, a 
but we are the spirit sitting in the temple of the body. And now in addition to sitting in the temple of the body, we as souls collectively are also housed in the temple of the world. So allow yourself to experience yourself as peace, as light, suspended in matter, contained within it, but yet free, silent, aware that it exists around you, but it's not who you are. Just as in any other relationship, there's a responsibility to serve matter with the peace of the soul. And when we begin to radiate that energy to the temple of the body and to the elements and nature around us, we restore a relationship of harmony with matter live inside of it with health, radiance, and unlimited beauty. Child given the chance 
and I fall out for gracefully Cause when I fall, I am given grace